Yo, what's up boys? Creative fights and arena fights are two completely different things. Arena and tournament fights require a bit more IQ and patience to execute consistently. That's why you rarely see pros require their edit course 361 pump each other. Could also be a reason why your creative skills aren't really translating into tournaments and arena. Anyway, enough waffling, let's review some arena footage and I'll tell you my thought process throughout the fights. You always want to start a fight with a beam. It gives you an advantage and it puts the guy on defense automatically. These extended cones right here are super important. It stops the player from ramping up and sometimes you can piece control them through them. I take this guy's wall with my shotgun and then force a ramp through. This forces him to either go out through the right or the back. He goes out to the right and I should have pre-boxed and then pumped him right there. So if I went for the pre-box and trusted my prediction, I should have been able to finish this fight up a bit quicker. In this next fight, it shows that movement can actually help you quite a lot if you use it properly. I managed to piece control this guy from all the way down there just by jumping up, and I do this really important ramp edit right here. This left hand half ramp is used by a lot of pros like Video, Noah and Reason. The player can only see your toes. Anyway, I managed to use this hot rock to its full extent and ended up one pumping him. I took advantage of this guy having bad awareness, so I managed to sneak up pretty close to him and beam him for a little bit of damage. This puts him at the defense, he can't really start aggressing me properly. The only way this guy can turn around the fight is if he insta edits on me as soon as I get onto the wall. So I get onto a ramp to counter that, as you can see he tries to do it, he fails. I get the wall and try to open a big edit, and he then up. Beam him for a little bit, take his wall, miss the shot. Now when he goes to the rebox, I instantly get the wall because it's one death. Manage to take it and then one pump him, easy. Now the next guy instantly comes after me because he's just too fine. I try and get out as soon as possible. Catch him mid pickaxe swing, pump him for a little bit then pump him pretty hard here, he's a psychopath. I try and do the same edit as I did before but it didn't really work this time because it stood to the very left. I'll go back to the old loop because I figured he'd probably try to go for it which he did try and do. However he goes to the left here so I use this right hand peak as an advantage and just play around it to finish him off. So I'm sat on height now so I don't get third party. I was dropping on a ramp here, I should have dropped on a cone and put an exit wall to my left like bugger, or taken the wall from an arc on peak which is when you're on a ramp to the left of the wall like from before. Luckily I realised this quick and managed to escape from the box. Look on this guy's mistake of leaving his wall open and place a ramp to it. I do this super OP ramp edit where I peek over the ledge by crouching then uncrouching then reset the ramp. This is just a couple tips and tricks from my fights earlier today. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe and I'll make a part 2. Peace.